is ABC 7 News, Chicago's number one news. On Health Beat today, made-to-order babies. Chicago, uh, Chicago scientists are using a technique to create human babies with the potential to help their ailing siblings. Sylvia Perez joins us now with that story and other health news. Sylvia? So, Linda, for the parents of a child desperately in need of a bone marrow transplant, the latest research in the Journal of the American Medical Association may reinforce the use of a controversial life-saving option. Scientists at the Reproductive Genetics Institute in Chicago say they have created five healthy babies that will be perfect matches as stem cell donors for their brothers or sisters. You may recall the story of Molly Nash and her brother Adam. She was suffering from a rare disease that would eventually kill her without a bone marrow transplant. Adam was created to save her life. Through a process called pre-implantation genetic analysis or PGD, Chicago scientists screened embryos created by the Nash parents. They found the ones that were disease-free and the same tissue type as Molly. The best was implanted in the mother's womb. When Adam was born, healthy cells from his discarded umbilical cord were transplanted into Molly. Both are healthy and thriving. The parents have the potential for creating babies who have that same genetic match, and that uh, is called HLA typing. The same scientists who helped create Adam are now reporting success in creating more babies who are genetic bone marrow matches for their siblings. The children are suffering from either leukemia or a rare form of anemia. Of the nine couples in the JAMA study, five became pregnant and the babies are the desired match. It's extremely significant because these couples had the chance to save their sick babies. Right now, PGD gives parents some control over what genes their offspring will have and critics say it creates many ethical dilemmas. They not only question the future of unused embryos, but say the expanded use of PGD is another step down the path toward designer babies. The fertility industry is largely unregulated, and some doctors say parents deserve the right to make their own reproductive choices. You know, looking at uh, couples who say, boy, if we could have another baby and have that baby cure our first child of their disease, why wouldn't we want to do that? Why wouldn't anybody want to do that? Now, the parents in this latest study did not want to be identified. Several have chosen to freeze the stem cells for possible future use. But researchers say at least one baby's stem cells have been given to their ailing sibling, and the procedure was considered a success.